Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. You are watching part two of this incredible tour of Majesty 140. If you still have not seen the part one, make sure you check out the link in the description below the video or right here and enjoy everything that we've seen so far. In the part one, we got to check out the beach club, all the exterior decks, the main deck, bridge deck, the sun deck, also the bridge, the captain quarters, and of course, the sky lounge. And in this part of the tour, we get to check out the main salon, the galley, the guest cabins, the master, all that master, the crew quarters, the tender garage, and the engine room. All right, let's do this. Back to the tour. We've got anti-slip yeah. lines here, so it's really nice. Oh, this is really wide. Oh, it's lights coming on. Lights, I love it. That's so great. Okay, so we come into the salon area. The main salon. Ah, uh -huh. this feels massive. Again, like a mirrored TV. Mm -hmm. So TV is off, don't see anything, just a mirror. Really nice sitting area. It's, it feels very spacious. Just very open. Is that something like an ottoman underneath there or is it just a design? It's a little poof that you know you can put out an ottoman. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah it's, it's a nice way of uh, storing it right? I mean you've got a couple of them there's two of them. Do you think this is one of the biggest coffee tables we have seen? Can you can you extend like close to it? So you can, it is very large. I mean, like, does it come out in the video? It's I don't very know, large. But it is really big. And it's really it's really beautiful as well. Really nicely made. The windows are incredible. They're really just the, the size of them, right? They are so much taller. I mean, just imagine you're like somewhere in the Caribbean, you have the beautiful blue. Or Mediterranean. You have the light color ceiling panels, like everything is gonna be reflecting. And again, like what I noticed is you have these asymmetrical shapes, which I really like. All right, so come over to the dining mm -hmm. area. The way that the yacht is designed, like this is a sitting for 10, but it doesn't feel massive, right? Mm -mm. It just feels very open. I think it's the choices of furniture and the choices of color that makes it feel that way just i mean this is a really big table yeah but you um you don't feel overwhelmed by by any of the furniture you still feel like you have so much space for for your eyes to be able to see as far as you want to like pretty amazing nothing's blocking anything yeah the way everything's kept low yeah it makes the space feel bigger and open okay so we're coming forward on the port side we have a, a weather door right here privacy pocket door right here which is electric yeah, so this leads us into the galley. Oh, you've got all your breakers here. Everything labeled, super clean. Look at that. Very clean. Oh, it's like every, every, uh, every cruise dream. Okay, so all of this storage here, storage bag here as well. Mm -hmm. And we're coming into the galley. It feels like an owner operator galley because this yeah. is so pretty. It doesn't have any kind of a, this is a crew only galley feel, right? All the appliances are melee. So everything is very, very high end here. Those look like refrigerators. <laughs> Big fridge right wow. there. And I've got two more fridges. Wow, next those to are it. massive. And these are fridge freezer combos. On the bottom and everything has safety locks yep. for you underway little breakfast nook mm -hmm. very cute right yeah and then on this side you obviously you know have all the storage you have a wine cooler as well coffee maker dishwasher dishwasher here it's just it's such a great flow right massive oven i mean really really big <laughs> and then um your induction cooktop here also oversized mm -hmm. And we got a microwave. Microwave and all of this is storage. If you happen to do dishes by hand, this is not a bad spot to do them. All right. I mean, you've got a dishwasher. Why would you do them by hand? Uh, another quick thing I just want to point out. I know it's a motor yard and it's stabilized, um, but having these little lids around, I think is a great, a great feature. 
Yeah, I think things it's, not sliding down. If something spills, it's not dripping down. It's so um, simple, but very it, it, simple. It makes a difference yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. So. So this would go down in the crew area, which we're gonna do later, right? Correct. All right. Let's check out the state rooms. Okay. So we go down the staircase here. Another level down. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful. Look at all this lighting here. Oh yeah. Okay. I propose yeah. we go this way. So there is a VIP. On the port side. Oh, beautiful. That is a nice VIP. Wow. The color choices, right? This uh, burnt really orange nice. and stuff. It just looks really pretty. So right next to you is is a makeup station work area here. The details are beautiful really really nice so there's obviously a tv behind here as well mm -hmm. which turns behind on glass and massive windows yeah this the windows are incredible and look how low you are to the water level yep. you can only imagine what this feels like in just a completely like anchored out somewhere nothing around you really feel like you're floating yeah, i want to i want to go to the exumas right now do you feel like that's this kind of feel it's it's been kind of rare for us to see I haven't, the... I haven't seen that yeah. on, on, on the other yards we have toured so far. I agree. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like that. Not this close. No, and not that big. Yeah, this, this is amazing. Okay, we have a wardrobe. Ta-da. With Perfect. drawers and, and the safe right here. Perfect for a couple of weeks on board. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, drawers in the bed here and the lights are integrated as well. Really cute. Look at that. Oh, the night lights, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, the reading lights. Yeah, reading lights are super cool and they come on they turn off mm -hmm. and as you move them they turn on beautiful cool huh yeah all right come on sweet on sweet yeah so you've got your marble countertops Gorgeous. wooden down here cut these open uh -huh. oh, mechanism yeah you got your head your bidet and a very spacious shower beautiful walking Wow, look at this porthole. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Got a rain shower overhead. Yeah, please don't turn it on. Star space right there. Nice sitting bench. Non-skit as well in the shower. Oh, it is? is? Very nice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. There's not much well, to be said. Well done. Yeah, really, All right. really nice. We have plenty more to see. Oh, yes, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What's this here? Okay. Yeah, we got some mood lighting in the shower where you can change the colors. Beautiful stateroom. Okay, right. so we Walk keep forward. Yeah, we're just gonna come around because there's a beautiful foyer in the middle, connects to all the staterooms of a double cabin. This is really cool. Yeah, that's kind of neat. It's a nice design feature. And for a double, these beds look a lot wider than a regular double. I agree. It's a nice hanging locker. Do you, do you see the hanging locker also has integrated LED light as well? Yeah. All the attention to detail on this boat is, they thought about it for sure. Got our integrated TV again. And then I think there is a mirror image locker. Same thing. On the outboard yep, side correct. as well. Yeah. Look how it just yep. comes on, I love it. Again, another oversized large window, porthole. Yes. Every stateroom has a bidet and a head. And also... It's a massive medicine cabinet. So the same thing, got a shower. So it's it's pretty much the same like in the other cabin, but check it out. Yeah, big range of massive showers. Yeah, very nice. Like, amount of movable space in the, in the heads is really nice. You can easily get around each other as you're getting ready. Our service closet here, very nice. And I'm gonna assume that it's the same here. I love how they just went with a little bit different color choices on the fabrics and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the rooms feel different, but they are exactly the same. So we have a mirror image of the double state room on this side, mm -hmm. double cabin. Same head, same everything. The same. Yes. 
like and on then the port side. On this side, we have exact mirror image of the VIP. So we have two VIPs, basically, and um, two double cabins, and mm -hmm. two double cabins, and two couples cabins. Beautiful. Oh, the way the lights just come on when you walk in, it's so cool. Very nicely done. Yes. It's exactly the same. Very fair. You don't have to don't have to decide who gets what cabin. It's all very fair. So very nice. Okay. Where is the master? So we got four guest cabins. We kind of cheated, you guys. We uh, we went down a level because we wanted to save them the best for last. So we're gonna go back up. Check out the master. And check out the master. The salon is behind us and we're going forward. It's an on-deck master. Day ahead for the main deck. Keep coming forward. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so we have our get ready area and you know obviously everything that that goes with it uh right next to the really nice walk-in closet beautiful a lot of space his and hers hers and his his and his hers and hers <laughs> all right keep going uh, forward um full beam welcome to the full beam master wow oh my god i have to do this with your own private balcony. And that is a very large private balcony. Yeah, you can have like an actual lounger here if you wanted to. And it is. Lounge out. So even when you're underway and you have the boot walks all the way up, the drop down balcony up and the railings removed, you still do have a balcony which is completely covered. You can put two chairs here and have your yep. coffee in the morning, even underway. Absolutely. I mean, unless you have some crazy heavy seas. But. And also, these are some massive, very thick and secure watertight doors here. Serious doors, right? Very nice. So in the master, we have all of the storage here. It's got a TV right here. You saw the walk-in closet. There is a really nice um, settee here. It's extra storage space on this side. And here, Large windows. Just in case you didn't have enough, there's another closet. More closet space. Perfect master for me. <laughs> oh. So I'm kind of feeling like this is his closet and that's her closet? Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, hello. What? Oh, I love how they laid this out, Rico. Okay, I'm not like a bath person, but I would definitely take a bath here. All the details, you know, the the um, towel. towel holders and stuff, just all, all of these details are beautiful. Look at the view. Wow. Wow. So a really nice feature, it's important for my husband, is uh, head privacy. So it's completely separate. Yep, head and day, and even... With a view? Natural light. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, not exactly the right way, the view, but yes. And then you still have all of the storage here. Yep. master as well dual vanity an enormous amount of space just really really great you have all this extra storage here your fancy drawers mm -hmm. nice mechanisms and you have definitely a two-person shower here with a huge huge rain head rain head shower and the view i mean you're showering you've got a view there you've got a view here Yep. Don't turn on the shower at me. I just turned on the mood light. So the, the view from, from the shower, do you see that way too? Check out that way. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. It is a really, really pretty, pretty bathroom. I can't call this head. I'm sorry, guys. This is and also, a real bathroom. I mean, the, the, the stone floors just... It feels very really high like end. So you've got pocket door on each side for yep. privacy as well, if you would like that. And uh, yeah. So, you know, the only question I have here, right? It's if we are to have our uh, morning coffee, mm -hmm. how do you get it? Should you gotta go to the galley and get it. You gotta go to the galley. Galley is like right behind here, right? Yep. It's yep. right behind. So I'm thinking, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. 
Ha! Secret door. What? Look the crew is still sleeping, that. but we are sneaking here. So, crew's down below. Yes, yeah, so we're just, just sneaking, sneaking in. in here. Making a coffee. Well, tea for me because I don't do coffee. Going back there and sitting on our balcony and having a coffee. Cool. Or like a midnight snack. Yep. Just like a little drink in the middle of the night. Okay. How amazing. So, this takes us down to the crew quarters. Look at this beautiful staircase to the crew quarters. It's very comfortable. Yeah. So to the port side, we have a double cabin. Pretty much the same finish as like the rest of the boat. Yeah, the boat is run with five people crew and um, respecting their privacy, we're not going to open anything up for you guys, but they have a pretty, pretty large uh, closet right there. Can yeah. you see it? It looks very spacious. And the amount of In, in general, this here, is a good right? square footage. Yeah. Look at that. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And an ensuite right here. So it's a wet head, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's pretty spacious. It's got a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of room. Yeah, I mean it's it's enough to um, to do a separate shower, but I think this gives you a better room to get ready. And mirror image right here, so the same. And that's that's four and the captain, right? Mm -hmm. And coming forward, coming forward, we have another. Very similar cabin. Another double, yeah. But also this one has like a little work area here as well, which is really nice. And this looks like a pretty, pretty a great amount of space. Yeah, awesome. This so, has a little work and gaming area here. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. I, it Let feels very ahead. spacious. There we go. Nice finishes, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice cabin. All right. Pretty comfortable. Where do you want to go next? Engine room. Yay. Okay. Tender garage. So we're going through here, now it's perfect. Going out and in. On the starboard side. We really even have a teak finish here on the staircase tower. Wow, this is expensive. Like, wow. What? I know. I'm completely blown away by the space here. Yeah. So that's that's your tender garage, right? Yeah, so you have your crane, the integrated crane here. Tender sits on a um, movable dolly and you can move it around and just get the view of this. So you can see how close we are actually to the waterline once the garage door is open. Got a Williams jet tender. It looks to me you can fit even a way bigger tender in here than the one currently is uh, on there. Even with the tender, right? The wash and dryers, everything is super accessible. There's this whole um, service, you know, area here, space for, for laundry and like, it's very spacious. Yeah. You've got a porthole as well, which is mm -hmm. very nice. It's um, kind of unusual to have that. So very beautiful. And I guess some... Um, Just pumps, storage. Yeah. yeah. Your water filtration system. Nice garage, huh? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. And that takes us perfectly into the engine room. Welcome to the engine room. Oh. We, gotta, <laughs> we gotta do like a... Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. I, I gotta say, I, I really like to see MTU engines. I think they're just really pretty. <laughs> Is that a girly thing to say? Kind of. Uh, they're, just, they're just freaking awesome looking. So we got two V16 MTU engines. I just keep seeing screens everywhere. Screens? So screens, screens. Yeah, you get your control screens, screens everywhere. So you have your mechanical screens, your port generator, starboard generator, um, which each are 100 kW generators. Um, Kohler, Kohler I'm not generators. So fast. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not that good at this filming thing. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it again. So we got a we got a 100 kW generator, Kohler Kohler generator here, 100 kW generator here. Got our battery bank switches there, and then we have a whole bunch of breakers here on the aft portion. This must be one of the prettiest um, stainless steel polished. I mean, there's not. I don't even want to touch anything because I kind of feel like I'm putting fingerprints on things. Um, but you know what? I want to go over here. I want to just take a look. 
but it's also behind. brand new boat so it, you know it's it's, it's very just shiny you really don't want to touch anything because it looks don't so pretty anything. i'm not going to touch anything <laughs> what um, is that rack thing behind you may i ask this year yeah do you know what that is? um it's probably for a fire hose or something like that i huh. would assume it's awfully um, pretty for so, a and, fire and everything hose. and everything is tucked away uh, behind panels like we, I see we have our battery chargers are here. Everything is nicely tucked away. Makes the engine room look super clean. Got an escape hatch here, in case of emergency. Accessibility is really nice. The engine room is super clean. A Little bit of a workstation here. And then of course, since the tender garage is right forward of it, we have plenty of workspace over here as well. Yeah, there's a little work table set up there yeah, in the corner. Yeah. Oh, again, you also want to point this out. Fuel filters are really easy to reach. Have a little um, pan underneath in case there is some kind of leakage. Oh yeah, there you go. That's where you were asking. It is a rack for that is a fire hose. Very pretty. I gotta say, it's a unusually pretty looking fire hose rack. Yeah. Ready? Yes, ready. come full circle, come right out of the engine room and end up at where we started at the beach club on the transom. This completes our tour of Majesty 140. I know you guys must have been just jaw dropping like we were. So many cool features, such a beautifully laid out, amazing design yacht. Really impressed. I'm so glad we finally got the show to you. Drop down in the comments below if you have any questions, anything else you would like to know, we'll reach out to Majesty and find out. This yacht is for sale. If you are interested, all the contact information will be in the description below the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. We are so appreciative of you guys taking a second to like and comment. Okay. And and enjoy the outtakes. Did we have outtakes? I don't know if we had any outtakes. No, no, you were you you definitely you definitely had outtakes. I don't think so. All right, ciao. Like the invisible tour guide. <laughs> Should we go forward? Yeah, right? Wait. Um, let's no, go this, is a, this is a master? It's a master yeah, probably. okay, yeah. so we go, we go aft yeah. and then that and then down. That doesn't yeah. make sense for yeah. us, does it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, take over because now you just completely threw me off. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay, here. We are coming forward on on the starboard side. Well, it's still the port side. On the port side. <laughs> oh, you disc a disco shower that Yay. you're you're always about? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. For the shower show, you want to film me? Yes. Yeah, you're actually not sweaty, finally. And this completes how to come out of right, come right out of the engine room and then Make sure you follow us on Instagram, check out our Patreon page, like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Check out some of the videos and check out some of our can you do me on one side right now mm -hmm. check out some of our other videos